Hello, this is Daniel and welcome to part 16 of this character creation tutorial. Um, today we'll work on whatever's left here with the pants. So um, to begin with, take a quick look at the design again. Um, it seems like this part also has a bit of a detail here that we can probably just copy over from the other side and integrate. So maybe let's begin with that. Uh, I'm going to go in here and select this entire lower part, copy it, set our pivot point to 3D cursor, scale by minus 1 to the other side along the x-axis, uh, hit shift n to recalculate the normals, and then separate it by pressing P, separate selection. Um, now on this side I believe we can move this a little bit further up and just to make it um, you know, less symmetrical. Let's see. Maybe we just flip it. Let's set this back to medium point. Let's just maybe turn it by 180 degrees, roughly. Oh, uh, actually, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> Wait, should we? No. We'll just leave it as it is. It's probably not too obvious. Um, and then, since we had a different material on this, let's just re oh, let's just select this, remove the material, then select this part and join it together. Uh, so since this is mirrored now, it ended up mirroring it this this to the other side. Um, let's see. We'll just ignore this for now. Uh, go ahead and add a subdivision surface modifier to this. Um, we'll set this to two maybe. Set this one to smooth. And let's start to just modify this a, a little bit. I'm going to make this a bit thicker, a bit higher, using inflate with alt s and add some loop cuts. One thing I want to do is to crease the belt region. Um, so I'm going to try to make here a flat area. Then I'm going to crease these two edges here. Shift D and then just drag a bit until this is sort of flat. Then I'm also going to do something similar here, maybe on these two edges, just to give it a little bit of a of a more solid look. Not too much though, it should still be smooth, just a little bit of an indication. Um, then I think that this edge here kind of goes a bit further down and we can drag this over a little bit to kind of make it a little bit sharper. So I'm going to pull this down pull this over like this, it gives us a nice little v-shape, um, seems better, and I believe we have to pull this in a little bit as well. Let's just make sure we also select these two edges, and I'm just going to reset this entire loop a little bit to adjust to these new changes. Okay, now um, you can also just bring these over a tiny bit further just to emphasize this shape a little bit more. Make sure the curvature around here is still intact. Uh, we just want from the front view this for this to be a little bit more like a V. You can even move these down a bit further. There we go. And then down here um, I believe the easiest way for this is actually I think we need to begin by moving all of this down a bit further especially this one and possibly these three as well and then uh, delete this loop here and these are quite well aligned but we do have to you know add more loop cuts but I'm not sure if that is a something we want to do. Let's give it a try. I think it will work out. So let's add a few loops around here. Then as we did before, I'm going to select all of these. Uh, we could have just selected one, go to select uh, loops and then rings. Then we're going to relax them. That will make them flow smooth again. 
uh, we just need to do the lower one separate so that we can select the entire thing instead and maybe we want to do this edge as well because this one was also not uh, captured before all right now it's all very smooth <laughs> it's got actually pretty good it's connected here and hit F to fill this in and that looks pretty nice pretty happy with that now in the in the 3d model that I'm looking at as a reference um, I think this ring here is a little bit wider we probably have this a bit more like an overlap like this <laughs> and we'll probably have to add another loop here and I hope we'll make we'll be able to figure this out here um, let's try to remove this loop after all and relax this a little bit further um, well you know what I think this is good enough for now uh, you'll see what our next steps are in a bit the shapes are obviously a bit a bit weird still but um, it's a bit difficult to control them like this anyway I'm going to apply the mirror modifier first of all then I'm going to the sculpt mode if it has a weird color just go to face sets and make a face set from visible um, we could also in this situation go here to, to the object properties and enable wireframe just so that we roughly see where our points are then I'm going to enable the symmetry switch to the grab brush and I'm going to use now the sculpting tools even though I'm not really sculpting I'm just going to use the sculpting tools to uh, sort of adjust the overall shape just very smoothly I mean you can't really do any details because it just has still a few points that we created in edit mode but it is personally I feel this is easier uh, as you have better tools to just you know grab a bunch of points drag them around a bit you can even smooth I'm just going to make the smooth brush a bit weaker since with fewer points it is a bit more aggressive Otherwise, just with the move brush, let's adjust the silhouette. Uh, with this character, most importantly, um, you have this all, like the peak is, you know, quite far down. You have this kind of shape where you see the weight of, of the cloth towards the bottom. Only in the back, you have a little bit of a bump here as well. So if you get these two shapes right, then it should look pretty good. So this is roughly what it looks like at the moment. And I think that was quite successful. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the silhouette of that. Let's go back to object mode. Uh, if we don't need the wireframe, we can disable it here. Furthermore, uh, I might try to crease this edge a little bit. Uh, to give it a nice separation. Not sure if I like it though, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe we undo that after all and move this a bit apart, in fact. Yeah, this is nicer. I think it already has a quite nice crease to it. So there's not much we need to touch. Um, is this alright here? Let me just check if we can improve this a little bit. It's interesting that even though this is not mirrored anymore, we also have symmetry tools in edit mode which uh, were automatically on for us since we enabled them in sculpting. And that really helps us right now to keep editing in symmetry even though we already applied our modifier. So very convenient <laughs> of Blender to do that for us. Um, just looking for a good, good transition here. Um, yeah, I think it was good as it was like this. Uh, that looks alright. And now finally we need to fix this area here and since we don't have a like a mirror modifier on here anymore, we can just select this part, delete the faces and then we just make sure to 
uh, maybe disable the symmetry now for a moment and scale these parts down until they fit nicely into this spot here. Um, you can do this also in the sculpt mode if, if you prefer that. So I'm just going to go into sculpt mode and wherever we need a bit more volume we can pull it out. Wherever it's too much we can push it in. Works pretty well. And here we need to push it in a bit further. Just like that. Um, now I'm just a bit worried that this is maybe not very even as as you know this curve goes a bit further down and here but maybe it's not too bad as well. I'm just going to experiment quickly with a little bit of a you know of this kind of shape. Let's relax these quickly. Um, it's interesting, um, but I'm not sure if that's the right way to go at the moment. Uh, maybe enable symmetry again. Okay, symmetry is already broken. <laughs> Let's forget about symmetry. Does that look good? Um, I think almost. It has potential, but. <laughs> We have to fix it up a little bit better. Let's just scale it along this axis here. And then I think it looks alright. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll keep it. It is a bit of a um, strange shape for a fold. Uh, we might brush it up a bit later, but I think for a you know silhouette and from a silhouette and balance perspective, uh, the value of having this is quite important. Uh, one final thing, I think that we bent this part up a little bit too far at the end of last part, so I'm just going to select it and try to move it down a little bit more, just like that. A bit softer the transition to reduce the artifacts, but I think this is pretty good now. And uh, yeah, we definitely increase the, num the amount of detail here. And in the next part, I'll think about what to do. <laughs> we still have a few things to do. Uh, we might do a little bit of sculpting here. We need to do the belt. Um, but hey, look at it. The character is now really starting to be more detailed. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you have no struggles following this tutorial. Sorry, give me a second to fix one more detail here. Um, I think we might need a little bit more volume to the side. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Always be careful not to lose your silhouette. So this is when I make sure to check my reference often enough. Like sometimes it's okay if, if the reference wasn't so accurate in first place to make changes, but be careful not to lose important details. Yeah, I think This change only is fine. From the side view, I'm not going to change anything at the moment. And maybe just let's go to the sculpt mode one last time. And I'm just going to try to fix a little bit here this part. I'm going to pull out the middle a bit further. And oh, I should do this in symmetry. And then push in these a little bit to make it smoother. Hope that works out for us. Let's see. Um, definitely looks better than before. And here we go. Pretty sure I I pushed the right points now. 
Yeah, better than before. That's for sure. Alright, we'll leave it like this. Back to object mode. Uh, this video has already taken 15 minutes. I think it's a good time to stop now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!